Well, we gotta get going to work this morning. And I got my new transportation from the house. I like to drive it right in through my front door out the garage. I can even go off road with it. Boss man should be meeting us down there. We're gonna go jump in the sheriff truck. And there's Steve. Good morning, Steve. Hey, 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 how's it going? Good, good. I got my skateboard. I actually went down to the store and bought one last night and I kind of thought to myself, now that- Wait, 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 you paid money for it? Yeah, I bought it, even though I'm the owner. Oh, I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, you already owned one, but sure, yeah, but take two. Since this is our home base and my actual house is over there, it's like, dang, that's kind of a far walk, so that's coming in handy, but we've gotten a bunch of complaints. And Steve, we haven't even showed you, we got a campground, and the, it's running out of firewood, so everybody's calling me, texting me. We need to go down there and make some more. All right, let's turn and burn, boys. I think this might be my new daily driver. You want a daily drive, a vehicle that says Wee Woo on the side. Yeah, and Bravo C1, it's got dual exhaust, lifted big tires, and it looks awesome. Heck yeah. Steve, this is our secret path to get back there. This is what all the hikers take. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, I didn't even notice it. Look at all the deer, they're running out of here. Yeah, it's, it, it's fairly secret. And over the past two or three weeks, the place has been popping off. We've gotten a bunch of people bringing in their tents. They hike up this road and the place is making good money between firewood sales. And then obviously they have, they're renting a little spot there. It's a little money maker. Are you allowed like bikes or like ATVs or something on this trail? Yes, you can walk ATVs, bikes, and then just for us, I'll turn my lights on too the sheriff vehicle as well there it is oh okay it's gotten busy yeah it's gotten crazy busy all right boys jump out let's get to work so all this firewood needs to be made look at this steve all this was full these little silos we made full of firewood they've been sold out and people are they're getting upset looks like we should do something about that then all right boss man your job run the machine steve and i will feed you there it goes it's running it chainsaw chops it and then hydraulic press and you get some split wood coming out pretty sweet up the conveyor let's make sure they fall in real good here all right we'll have it filled in no time this thing's sweet oh we gotta bring another log steve grab it all right up and over it's not easy well actually we just gotta roll it on here and then the machine does the rest so as long as we get them get them rolling over there we don't have to chop them up too much uh oh, we got a little jam. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I feel like we got to fine tune this thing. And we got to sharpen the chainsaw a little bit. All right, Steve, get in there. Don't pinch your hand, but see if you can unlodge a couple things here. I'll try my best. Oh, there we, we got another jam. Like boss man uh, running the machine. It's actually not machine air, it's user air. Hey, I heard that. There we go. After this, we. What are we doing next, boss man? This is the biggest job of the day. Uh, no, it's not. We have an entire airport to make. I was worried. I was hoping we'd push that off till tomorrow, but we're doing that today nope. still. That's today. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. All right, I'm thinking, guys, let's grab the log splitter. It's so expensive, and we have so many people here now. They could kind of mess with it, break something. There we go. You sure you're able to pull that? Oh, yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? Put the tops on the wood. We're all done and we should have some happy customers now. All right, we're rolling out. Steve, your job is if that thing comes off the truck and rolls down a hill, let me know. Okay, I can definitely do Especially that Especially this hill. This is sketchy. Oh gosh, so steep. Okay, I hope we install these brakes good. Anyways, today we're making an airport and Spencer, I owe you some money. Here is $2 million. Jeez, that's a lot. Yeah, they're now in checks because obvious reasons. And uh, yeah, so making an airport somewhere around here so then we can fly between the two airports. I think that would be awesome. The other one is making us so much money. It just kind of makes sense. And Steve, do you want to invest with us? Oh yeah, gladly. Okay, so I'm glad you said that because all the numbers I ran required that. I'm thinking we buy a new piece of land. Okay. And my estimates, including the land, is going to be this will total $3 million, which means a million from each of us. Does that sound good? 10-4. What land are we buying? Well, if you go straight. Okay, straight. Yep. And so we own all you, this to the left. Yep. But now we're going to own everything to the right. How many acres? Uh, it, it is a few hundred. That's for sure. All right. Let's take a look at it real quick. It's what is it been in a hay field? It looks like. Yeah, I think it was right now. It's all cleaned up and it's it just ready for it. us. Yeah, this is sweet. It's got a little contour to it. Should be able to make it work and we'll get ready to go. Steve, now you're part of the crew. You're a part of the ship. He's going to be a part of the airport. Big money from the airport. So that's why I've been getting $2 million a paycheck. And that's I'll need a million right now. Dang it. Yeah. Sorry. million from both of you. Pay up. Why you got to be like that? It is what it is. Here. What about this? I can guarantee you next week you'll get all your money back. All right. 
And what happens if you we don't? Pinky promise. I pinky promise. If if somehow it doesn't happen, I'll pay it out of pocket. All right, Steve, jump in the Peterbilt over there. I'll get in the sheriff truck and get all the skids to your attachments down. And where this is located, right next to us, is here's the go kart track and everything. Our old place. Well, it's not old, but where we used to live. There's the security post where we have our side by sides and the other truck. There's the neighbor's farm, and then it's just down this road, like literally a quarter of a mile. And where you see those telephone lines, dirt road, that's where the airport's going. So not too far away from home. And look at that, boss man's already going. He's got a bulldozer out there ripping, doing some grading. Here's the field entrance to get in. We might build some more. Obviously, we're gonna probably uh, might even pave this road here to get back to Blacktop. That way, you know, an airport doesn't make sense if it has a gravel road, and things will be getting a lot busier around here. Boss man's heading out to go get some dirt from a local construction site not too far down the road. And he texted me, start carving out the runway. So I'm gonna point her straight, guys, and we're gonna get building a runway. This is awesome, super exciting. The runway is looking good. I got it all smoothed out and we did a good job. We've been moving a lot of dirt over the past couple hours. Places going together. It sounds like concrete guys are on the way. Boss man's got building supplies. He's kind of the coordinator when it comes to us always building. So we'll touch back base with him. Another dump truck coming in. Things are coming together. And there's the runways. The concrete guys just left. These are going to be our two main runways. The landing one, the drop in one. And now boss man's over there. He's surveying. He's trying to kind of figure out where we're gonna put the terminal. Well, we got a bunch of concrete laid. That's probably the one of the most important things of an airport. And then of course the terminal is now built. So I'll give you guys a quick tour of that. Bossman and I have been working really hard, like really hard. And now that I'm thinking about it, Bossman's in there doing some finishing touches. Where is Steve? We have not seen Steve in like a few hours, but the terminal looks great. I'm happy with it. Yeah, what the heck? I'm gonna give Steve a call, see where the heck he's at. And no answer from Steve. It's like his phone is turned off or something, like it's in airplane mode. All right, boss man, let's do a quick little tour. This is pretty much identical to the to the first airport, correct? Well, I use the same blueprints, so hopefully it's the same. If there are differences, we have something to be concerned about. And we were open, so, well, we aren't open, open, but people can come in because we got restaurants in here, stuff like that, and our employees are here. Oh yeah, it's all just about time. We've definitely made some good progress, just a little bit more to do. Keep on going through here. Yep, run to the back here, and yeah, everything looks the same. I think we did an awesome job. We even got the hot dog guy here. And there's the airport, boss man. Whoa, whoa, boss man, there's a plane. It just landed. Why is there, what, what do you mean there's a plane? We had no scheduled landings. I don't even know if, was a runway approved yet from? Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't checked my email. Like we sent stuff. Okay, yeah. we, we didn't go I'm running down there. I'm going to see who that pilot is. Wait a second. That looks like Steve up there in the cockpit. Steve, what's going on? Hey, do you like my new plane? Yeah, I tried calling you. You were in airport mode, airplane mode. That totally makes sense. What the yeah, heck? Exactly. What do you, what do you, why are you so surprised? I'm coming in. Sheriff's making his way here. Watch out, boys. Wait, Steve. Yeah, it's Steve. Yo, it's boss you. man. Boss man, you almost hit me. Oh, you, why? Okay. Do you have a pilot's license? What? Yeah, I got it when I was up in Canada fighting the fires. Okay, and then, we, dude, we literally just built this. We just built a terminal. You weren't around us for like three hours. We were wondering where you went. So you went and got the jet? Yeah, exactly. Did you take this from our other airport? No. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure you didn't. Well, I, I do have to ask, how was it? Like, was the runway pretty smooth, flat, no issues? Oh, it was amazing. Like, okay. it was just such a smooth landing. I think, but to be fair, I am probably the best pilot out there, so I can make any landing smooth. Okay, fair enough. You, you could actually be a pilot for us. I mean, we're always low on pilots, but you literally just tested the runway for the very first time with an Airbus. Holy biscuits. I guess he is partial owner, so I can't really stop him. Well, I guess we should really get to finishing up then because we already have planes starting to land. Jeez, it's crazy. Steve's a pilot. We didn't even know it. Steve, not there. That's where cars go. In the back, man, in the back. Yeah, we really need those lines. Yep, but this yeah. is a car. No, it's not. It's an Airbus. Well, we got the hangars put in. They are quite large. Obviously, we have humongous, humongous airplanes. Helicopter pads, boss men top those off. And then a smaller airplane as well for smaller, smaller planes. But Steve, what are you doing? Your plane leaves in two minutes. You're flying to Tokyo. Sir, sorry, what? Yeah, you got a plane in two minutes. You're the pilot. First official flight out of this airport. So the plane's full. You just got to get on it. 
Come on. Why didn't you tell me this before? You That doesn't make any sense. You're the pilot. I was busy working. I thought you knew about it. All right, there he goes. He's getting turned around. Ah, oh, this is exciting, boss man. The first official, official flight out of here. There he goes. He's getting speed. He's going to take off. Sweet. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Yee.